CGM is just that, a continuous glucose monitor. So it continuously measures your blood sugar every one to five minutes and then displays that information to you on a receiver once it's transmitted um, from the sensor. It was hard keeping track of my sugars, especially like it, they were high a lot. Like I had really high sugars. So I was like, di I was like into the hospital a lot with ketosis. Tiff is not only a friend, she's really my best friend. So it's like we've had very similar struggles and then managed to overcome them, not like just on our own, but like with one another. So it's really like reassuring and comforting. I think when I finally realized that I needed it was when I was in burnout. So it's like, Clearly, I need help. I remember we went on vacation um, very shortly after I actually got diagnosed, and it was before I had the CGM. One of the things is, I remember coming out of the ocean, um, checking my blood sugar. My blood sugar was like 50, and it was going down. It was very low. Um, if I would have been there for much longer, something bad could have happened, honestly. It's been good, and it helps me, because I don't have the finger prick as much as I used to. For when I'm racing, my dad can ch check my numbers instead of me coming back to, to check it with the thing, the finger pricker. It was so much better. Um, night and day, so much night and day. Um, checking it from the phone, checking it from the pump, it makes it a lot easier versus doing uh, the glucose finger pricks, you know. We would get almost 10, 15 pricks a day, you know, but once we chose the CGM, it made it so much easier uh, for managed care. In traditional blood glucose meters, the times when you would actually just check a finger stick, even if you did your absolute best and checked every hour, you would only get 24 blood sugars a day, right? Because we have 24 hours in a day. But with a continuous glucose monitor, one of the benefits is that you get to see your blood sugar every minute or every five minutes. So you could be potentially getting over 300 blood sugars a day, data that you wouldn't otherwise had had you not had the continuous glucose monitor. It's been easier with the CGM mentally. Um, I just don't feel like if my blood sugar gets too high, I'll get an alert. And it kind of gives me peace of mind knowing that I probably won't be in the hospital anytime soon because of my blood sugars. So I still have struggles now, but being, like having my CGM is, just lifts one of the, just gets rid of one of the difficulties that I have. Getting the CGM made that, all that pressure kind of like release off of my chest and my shoulders. I felt a lot better. It was like it actually, a, it was a full, it was a breath of fresh air. It was so nice being able to, you know, just pull up my phone, see it right there. My loved ones get to see my, my blood sugars throughout the day as well. Um, there's been many times where I fell asleep, my blood sugar dropped. My brother came in, woke me up, and like was like, you need to take something. Information and knowledge is power, right? So the more that you know about your blood sugars, whether they're going high, whether they're going low, the more that you can be proactive in the decisions that you make about your diabetes. And in the end, that improves diabetes outcomes. Just get the CGM, <laughs> literally. It's not, it's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. It's really not. It's pretty cool.